how you doing guys i'm sean welcome to rambles with my camera guys absolutely fantastic day um every other day has been every other day has been raining but look at this here the sun's out absolutely fantastic i'm determined to top up the old vitamin d here so guys listen i hope you're having a great day and i just wanted to thank you all so much for your lovely comments um on the videos there it's absolutely been brilliant absolutely wonderful and thanks very much to all the new subscribers for coming along and joining this journey Guys, this video here, remember a couple of weeks back I was in Dublin taking some street photography. Um, I took a photograph there, or took, well, I took many photographs there, but one in particular, I only shoot one frame. When I'm shooting out the camera, I don't shoot it on uh, you know several frames a second. It's just one frame at a time. I don't shoot the continuous frames. And I took one photograph, and it's a photograph of uh, a couple who are standing in a doorway. And when I got home and I looked at the photograph, it created... Uh, it created a feeling, an emotion in me looking at it because it it was different from what I had taken uh, from what I observed, let's put it that way. And when you're taking street photographs, you know, you have that split second, something could catch your eye and just something inside you say, take that photograph and you might look at it later and it doesn't do nothing for you. But I always, if I, if I feel drawn to maybe somebody with pink hair or somebody with a scarf on, something with sunglasses, something inside me said, just take a photograph, I take it. I'd rather be looking at it than looking for it, so uh, get a wee bit blinded here. Happy days, like pleasure and pain, vitamin D and blinded at the same time. But that photograph in particular, I want you to have a look at it. And you know what? What's it conjuring up? When you're taking a photograph in an ideal situation, it would be great that it tells a story. It gets a viewer to sit and think about what's happening there. I know a lot of times when you're looking at a photograph, there's a caption below it, or it could be part of a story. Sure, for the photographs and the story, the copy will actually work hand in hand. But sometimes, in fact, most occasions, you'd probably not get no copy, no text going with it. So the photograph should tell you something or create some sort of emotion or story in your mind. And that photograph did it for me, um, even out of all of them. There was another one of the other girl, there was a wee girl sitting at a picnic bench in the, uh, not a picnic bench, a bench in a park, and she was feeding uh, the birds. And she was looked very um, meditative state. She was just sitting, you know, drifting away, and it fired off a couple of photographs. That was another one that day. But the one in particular I want to talk about is the one that the couple in the street. And when you're looking at that photograph, what's it saying? Tell you, look at the girl's body language. Do you know, look at her face. You know, what way is she towards the the guy in the photograph? And when I seen that. It created, as I say, a completely different feeling that I got when I first spotted them. I was walking down the main road in Dublin city centre and I could see these. I'm sitting here above a tree, oh, sorry, below a tree. I just want to make sure. That would be a great um, viral video. Vlogger gets hit in the head with a tree. Yeah, so whenever I was walking down the main road, I could see them standing at the side street and I guess it's a busy main uh, Dublin street and they were in the wee run off street, a wee narrow street which is running on to it and I could see them and both of them they were touching each other and kissing each other and playing with their hairs and all so of course me being the voyeur sorry, street photographer that I am I walked down the street towards them now they were about 300 400 meters away from where I was so I took a light reading, I was shooting on manual, shooting on raw I took a light reading of the buildings that they were alongside, got the light reading, got down, threw the camera up on the side and fired off one frame and walked away. You know, they never said nothing, they were too busy doing what they were doing, let's put it that way. But when I got the photograph back, I was surprised because you may see this, the girl looks as if she doesn't want to be there. Do you know what I mean? Is she being, you know, harassed? Is it a breakup of a relationship? Um, is it a predator type, you know, person putting himself on to the girl? Um, but I can assure you, before I took that photograph, they were all loved up like I was expecting, you know, all kissing and they were touching hers and she's smiling as I'm walking, watching, I'm watching. They were so engrossed in each other, they didn't see me approaching and they certainly didn't see me taking a photograph. But that photograph there captured something different. And that's what I want to talk about just when you were taking photographs. It is important to get photographs that's going to create a story. Um, you don't want to be 
putting something out there and making up a story because because of the situation that you find them. Like, there's no use me putting that photograph out and, and attaching it to an article talking about, uh, I don't know, stalkers or, or things like that. But when you're taking a photograph, try to think, is it going to... Is it going to stir some sort of emotion, some sort of emotion in the person viewing it? Or is it just going to be a grab shot? And it may be personal to you, which is okay, by the way. But try to take photographs that are going to create stories. To get the person to look around different parts of the photograph and see. Like I took a photograph years ago, about 1987, a wee man sitting in a park. And I used to see him all the time walking up and down the Falls Road. And one day I actually seen him. He used to go down the park every single... Uh, day and I used to feed the birds and I took his photograph and I love that photograph because well it was special for me because that's when I started photography but there's more to that photograph than just you know the man just done it if you look along you can actually see all the railings are all bent over where people people would have like drinking in the bar and in, in the park so they would have bashed down the, the railings so they had like seats that's telling a part of the story then if you look till his right behind him there's an, a can of beer. We man would have went down and had a wee can of beer and the thing. And the more you start looking at him, you start to see the, the cloth cap. It's reminiscent of a day has gone past. You know, as we satchel the bag. And that photograph in itself could create so many stories. But yet there is only one story, is his story. And that's what I want you to do when you're taking photographs. Try to capture something that's going to tell a story. And if it creates an emotion in you as a photographer, I would say run with it, put it out there, because if it's worked for you, it should work for somebody else. There you go guys, listen, if you've took any photographs that create that emotion or that story, and it may have flipped on the head of how you actually took that photograph, let me know in the comments down below, and uh, I'd love to go over and see them. Guys, listen, thanks very much for watching. I'm going to soak up these rays here now, let me tell you. and. Uh, Know that I'm sending you love from Ireland, and if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. You can check me out on Twitter and on Facebook. Check out the website rambleswithmycamera.com and also my Flickr page. I'll put all the links down below. And uh, you can check out the, the video in the top right hand here of the street photography um, from that Dublin, if you haven't already seen it. Guys, listen, send you love from Ireland, and thanks again. Either somebody's cutting down a tree or it's a dentist has moved in next door. Guys, send you love from Ireland, and... Uh, See you in the next video.